Hi everyone, today we're comparing three versions of 1.2.1 to generate AI video, covering single image to video workflow in Config UI. Goal is to see how we can speed up the video generation by almost 70% using just a single LoRa. No hard setup, just a LoRa. So we will test the original model, a faster setup with Vase plus a LoRa and also a quantized version. We'll compare the quality of them side by side and see which one are better, but also the time it requires to generate with the same reference image and the same prompt. Then we will explore how to build the full workflow in Config UI. Oh, and I will be releasing shortly after this video, another video about 1.2.1 vase, but this time with video to video in Config UI using Rhino as a video guide and I will run through all the settings and all the workflow. Pretty exciting a video. I'm looking forward to release it. So if you don't want to miss out, feel free to subscribe to get notified about the next video. But before that, let's get into this one. So here we have the previous version that we liked from a couple of months ago, the model 1.2.1, 720q8, 16 frame, and it took about 40 minutes to render. Overall, very interesting quality, very good quality. We lost a bit of intensity in terms of the texture of the concrete. And here we have 1.2.1 vase. 14B, so this is the new model that just came out, as 720p, 16 frames per second as well, and it only took 10 minutes to render, which is quite stunning. We can see that actually the texture on the concrete feels a bit more real and a bit more contrasty, but there is a flickering on the image that we can sort of feel like there's some square moving around. Um, so that can be fixed with a couple of settings, um, but that's something that is quite common in this one. And then finally, we have the Q8 version that is exactly the same with 16 frame seconds, but it only took six minutes to generate a five second video, which is radical in terms of speed. And we have even a better texture similar to the full model um, 1.2.1. So it's very similar to the previous one, but because it quantized, it shrank the time by almost four additional minutes. So for those ones, I kept the same settings with a Q8, 16 frame, six minutes to generate. And what I tried here was a couple of different things to speed up the movement. Here I try 360 rotation and you can see that it sort of started, but because it's very slow, it just takes so much time to, to generate, which is quite frustrating um, because I really want it to 360 and it sort of struggled to detach itself from the reference image. And on and on this one, I tried to do a sunset uh, almost to nighttime and it actually worked quite well in terms of shadow. We can see the shadow moving on the building, on the curvature, which makes it very interesting. But again, very slow movement, even so some on some of the prompt are really has to speed up the movement, but it still didn't quite do that. And on this one, it's the same idea. I try to rotate around, orbit around uh, the geometry. So that's part of my prompt, but it's not quite there. So I'm going to talk a bit about this prompt in the next part when we're going to look at Config UI. And the nighttime is quite interesting, but I mean, it's quite, it's quite nice to see how it managed to actually go from evening to night with a sky with only one image. So it's not done with two image start and end. It's only one reference image and it managed to sort of get that happening. So here is a workflow. So it'll be um, the script I'm going to share with my Patreon will have that markdown note where you can click on the link and it just downloads automatically the models and then you just have to save them down below. There is the location um, where to save those models. The first step is to load a diffusion model. Um, and what we're going to select here is the one 
2.1 so there are a couple that i used in the previous video but this one is a new one is the vase one vase 14b fp16 so that will be the full model and then we will load a lora um, and then we will load a clip loader so here the clip loader would be also the one that i show in the link and it's a slightly different one fp16 and i'm connected to the lora then i will load the image component to be able to load my reference image and the VAE. So the VAE is the same, is the same as the previous one. So you don't have to re-download the VAE. So here under LoRa, I'm gonna choose the PostVid 14B. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter, it's, it's a text to video, but it doesn't matter at this stage. And then the strength of the model, we're gonna keep it as 0 0.7. So random recommendation is probably to keep the LoRa between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, uh, 0.75, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. Um, it's more when we're going to use the video and the reference image. So here I'm also loading the model sampler as the stable diffusion 3, um, and then the shift needs to be at 8 for that specific model. And then here I'm just loading the clip text encoder, with the positive and the negative prompt and I changed the color. So for the prompt, I actually had some prompt already ready for it. Um, they are really similar to the to the image I generate, to the prompt, positive prompt I generate for the image that I'm gonna use as a reference. Um, and here that's the Chinese version of um, the default workflow. So if you want it in English, I just translate it. That's how it looks like. So it's mostly talking about uh, faces and fingers so it's not really fully relevant for us but that's okay um, and then the next component is a uh, one base uh, to video where i start plugging my positive prompt negative prompt my reference image and my va uh, you can see that the reference image is not quite the resolution that i will put here um, so I'll put here as a 720 and it actually work um, even if the image resolution and the, Im the video resolution don't fully match. Um, but if you can match those components, it always helps with the process. That's the case sampler. So after that component, I use a case sampler. I plug the positive, negative and the Latin image. One thing that is also um, a bit different is I'm going to use another component called Trim Video Latin, um, where I'm going to bring the, the Latin and the Trim Latin um, into that component. Um, and from the case sampler, the settings I'm going to use is I'm going to reduce it to four steps, a CFG of one, and then here I'm just going to use UniPC and Simple as a schedule. Now you can uh, play around with the scheduler and, um, and the, the sampler. Um, I found that works quite well for me. So here's a quick note on WizLora. So WizLora that we used, you can go from two to four steps and keep the uh, CFG as one. And without LoRa, you would be around 20 steps and CFG around four. So this is some settings to keep in mind um, because that's where the, the speed, um, the the, the that's how you speed up the generation. It's because the number of steps are only four. Then you need the VAE decoder where you plug your latent and uh, you actually plug your latent back to um, to you plug it to the, the trim video and your latent and to the VAE decoder. Here I'm just going to keep it the prime rate as 16, but you can go up to 24. Um, I highly recommend to go with 24. I don't know why I keep it 16. I think the previous one was around 16, but now you can actually bump it to 24 frame. It works quite well. Um, and then you can keep those settings for the video export. Um, one way to reduce the, 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 to optimize the speed as well is to use a Q, um, a, a quantized version for your model or one model so here i download the q8 but you can pick another 
Qantas version that works better with your computer and then you can plug it to uh, the model instead of the full model. So we saw just before the difference, so there is almost no difference, not that I can I can really see. And then for the load clip, um, you can keep the same one. Um, and here I'm actually having an error here with this one. Um, and this is due to the fact that my um, my load clip needs to have needs to be under one for the type, um, and that works. So if you click on it, that should work. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Those are like some of the settings I used. Um, feel free to use those ones. There's always some interesting stuff to, to do when you try and test different settings. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment below if you have some settings that you found work better. Um, it's always quite cool to, to know what, what you're using. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to run you through a couple of um, prompts. So that's the one that goes from daytime all the way to nighttime. So all what I've done is I just write down this prompt. Um, ultra realistic, fast, 360 drone flyover, sharp crystal hotel. And the camera orbits quickly, time accelerates, sunset fades into deep twilight, then the star field, nighttime. So pretty beautiful <laughs> prompt um joking on this but the idea here is just the the camera doesn't orbit that fast and i think that's where i found the limitation a bit with the prompt and the image and that's why we're gonna run through another method to get a bit of uh, a better control of the camera movement um but it does the sky the night sky quite quite efficiently that's it for today Thanks for watching. This LoRa is quite amazing and with a quantized version, it just speed up so much the workflow. So I'm looking forward for the next video where I'm gonna run through video to uh, video with a reference image where we're gonna look at how we can set it up for architecture and visualization. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, tell me what you, what you think, how you can use it in the architecture workflow and if you're interested by this channel and the content, please feel free to subscribe. It helps a lot the channel. Looking forward to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao.